There's a terror alert in London, in the UK. What the hell are we supposed to do? I got family over there. They're all worried. I got the terrorist safety kit. Here's your safety kit. First thing you need. Underwear. Because when those bombs blow off, the first thing I'm going to need is a new pair of underwear. Painkillers. In case you get shot or something happens to you, you take a painkiller. That way if it takes a long time for people to come rescue you, you got your painkillers. The last thing you need is an emergency blanket. If you get shot or you get stuck somewhere and you got nothing to do, you take your emergency blanket, you pull it out, you're safe, you're warm. And if the terrorists come after you, you throw it over your head, and all of a sudden, Buenos Dias, you're one of them. Then you're safe. No one's going to come after you. The only person that's going to shoot you at this point is a police officer. So when the police come to rescue you, take it off or they're going to tackle you, kick your ass. And that's not saying the terrorists aren't going to attack you, because in 9-11, they killed lots of Muslims too. If they got to choose when they're shooting between shooting a Jew and shooting another Muslim, I think they're going to shoot the Jew first. So I'm going to put on the blanket. Don't bother to ask yourself, why is it they're hunting Americans? They're not going after Canadians. It's because of our foreign policy. But I'm not worried about it, because I can't do anything about our foreign policy. Foreign policy is our problem, but we can't fix it. So all I got to do is be as safe as I can when I'm on vacation or trying to live my life. They're angry about American foreign policy. They're angry about Israel, but they're going to kill anybody. They're going to kill Jews. They're going to kill innocent people. They're going to kill other Muslims. So, as an American, I feel justified. If I'm angry and I want to make the terrorists pay, I can go after all the Muslims. I can go after anybody with a beard. I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you're Amish. I don't care if you're a motorcycle riding Hell's Angel. If you got a beard, that's the closest thing I can come to a Muslim. I'm going to come talk on that beard and say, why are you putting us through this terror? I know it's got nothing to do with you, but it's our right as an American to go after anybody we want who's different. If they're wearing a headscarf, they're fair game. If you're a cancer victim and you've lost all your hair and you got to wear a scarf, I'm still going to scream at you and say, stop this terror. Stop freaking terror. You're a terrorist. Even though they're not a terrorist. That's the way the Muslims think, so that's the way I'm going to think that some big biker guy beat the living crap out of me and I died from head wounds because I attacked him and I pulled out his beard. It's my right as an American to attack anybody I want who's different than me to fight terror. That's what I'm doing. I'm a patriot. <sighs>